Hey everybody, Nathan60 here with another tutorial on the 3D printing project. Let's dive right in. Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be talking about different kinds of filament you can use in your 3D printer. Um, of course, there's anything else of different filaments you can use, but I have the three main kinds right here. And um, we have PLA, ABS, and PETG. So I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages for each of them. So let's get started. First, we have PLA, which is basically the default kind of um, filament. It requires base. It doesn't require a lot of heat. It only requires about uh, 190 and its bed requires only to be 50 degrees but the biggest uh, advantage of PLA is that it's polydegradable which basically means it's recyclable unlike other cl plastics that takes uh, that take forever to break down uh, for like about hundreds of years of breaking down this one only takes about two months to break down and also it isn't harmful to the environment so that's PLA. Then we have ABS, which is uh, pretty easy to use. It's a, basically the most used filament. It's really strong. It's pretty exact. Everything is exact. But uh, the only problem it does is um, is that it's it can cause warping. Warping is basically when you're doing a 3D print and this is your bed and this is your print, but one of the corners start coming out in the middle of your printing because uh, the bed heat is in front of them. So that happens with ABS a lot. So you have to make sure you have at least 245 uh, Celsius degrees on your nozzle and 90 degrees on your bed. Then we have PTG, uh, which is really like ABS, but it requires less heat. It only requires 220 and 70 degrees for the bed, but uh, uh, it's really strong and easy to print. But the difference is um, PTG is bendable and it'll always um, go back to its original state after you bend it. It does not. It's it does not deform at all. But ABS, even it's they're really alike, except for ABS will not bend whatsoever, and PTG bends. So PTG might be more useful in some cases. Okay, so those are the three kinds of main three D printing materials. Thank you for watching, and um, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next time.